Hey guys, what's up? Zombie Kangaroo here, and this is going to be a request by David for Rocket Dock, which is this program over here, which makes all the icons flip up and select them from there. So uh, first off, I'll just go ahead and remove Rain Meter to get it out of the way for the video. So that's all that stuff. Um, as you can see, my Rocket Dock is on my right hand side right now. You can there's a button on it or an icon called dock settings if you click on that you can move to the position and you can put it at the left bottom or top or anywhere you want um, for now we'll just leave it on the bottom um, I'm using multi monitors right now and you can also put it on monitor one monitor two if you have that um, layering I suggest having this always on bottom unless you're going for a different setup because if it is always on top it will be over top your other windows no matter what if it's always on bottom then it's just on your desktop um, you can also center it and edge offset to see how far it's off from the edge um, trying to go through this a little quick to save on rendering time but uh, if you go into the general section it has a few things just like run at startup so you don't have to run it every time or minimize windows to dock. So if we hit OK on that, and open Firefox, you can actually minimize the windows to the dock. So we'll go back into dock settings and uncheck that. And you have running application indicators, which is they'll have a little triangle if the, beneath them if they're running, just like those. So exit on Firefox real quick. Go back into the dock settings. The other thing you can do is your icons. <clears throat> now I'm running a Black Ops theme right here, but um, this is not within Rocket Dock. These are actual icons. It's a Black Ops icon set. Um, you can adjust the opacity of the icons to 100 or 50%. What I like is to keep them to 50%, then choose zoom opaque on. So when you mouse over them, they become 100% transparency. So the other thing is the size that you can affect those. You can make them super small or super big, whatever you want. Um, then you have the hover effect. So when you hover over it, it can zoom in or it can do a flat. Bubble and plateau aren't that different. So I won't show you plateau. You can choose how much it zooms in, the zoom width, and the zoom duration. Um, so if you put the zoom width or zoom the whole way down, they don't actually zoom. They can just highlight if that's what you want. Um, but we'll put the zoom back up to just about where we had it. Um, the next one is the style, which is the style of the background. Right now I have it on blank so you don't see it, but you can do things like, you know, the 3D glass curve or, you know, just any kind of background, then you can adjust the opacity accordingly. Um, you can also choose, I'll go back to blank here. Um, you can also choose, choose the color of the text that's above it. Mine's black and white because I'm trying for the black and white theme there. And uh, the last one is behavior, which you can do a few other special effects with that. Okay, so next thing you might want to know about Rocket Dock is the actual icon. So if you click on one, well, the way I have my icon set up is it will fan out. And this is an add-on to Rocket Dock called Stacks. If you want a tutorial on that, I'll throw one of those up. Just leave a comment. Um, but Rocket Dock's pretty simple. I'm going to do this with Reason right now to show you what I can do. So if you want to remove an icon from the dock, you just click and drag and it disappears. If you want to add one back, you can, this is just Reason right here, click it, right click it, send to desktop, create shortcut, it creates a shortcut and you can just drag it back onto your dock and you can delete the icon here. If you want to change the appearance of an icon, just go to icon settings, right click the icon and go to icon settings and choose your icon that you want. Now I have a reason icon in here, so I'm just going to choose reason and then hit OK and that becomes your icon. Um, you can also have other things like recycle bin and with other apps you can also have your computer stats running or date or weather or whatever you want. Rocket Dock is extremely customizable and there will be a download link in the description. If there's anything else you want to know, uh, questions or comments, whatever, just leave them down below. If you want me to do a tutorial on stacks, which is pretty cool, um, go ahead and shout out. Uh, Zama Kangaroo, thanks for watching. Peace.